One nuclear fuel pellet has an amazing amount of energy stored in it. In fact, it's the equivalent of 149 gallons of oil or one ton of coal. If you were to take a stack of them, one cubic foot of nuclear fuel pellets would supply all of the electricity you and your children would need for your entire lives. Nuclear reactor cores are made up of close to 20 million of these tiny pellets. So, how does this little pellet produce so much efficient, usable energy? That's where nuclear fission comes in. Two or more neutrons are released from the nucleus of the uranium atom, and these neutrons are then freed to hit other uranium atoms, causing them to split. This process repeats itself in a controlled chain reaction. This chain reaction produces heat energy. At its essence, nuclear energy is a high-tech way to boil water and spin a turbine. Any technique for generating electricity requires fuel, and uranium is the primary fuel of the nuclear power plant. The reactor, which is right over here, really is kind of the heart of the plant. That's where the energy is produced. We turn that energy into steam. The steam comes over to this section of the plant, and we make the electricity. We have the three defense barriers to prevent fission product release to the environment. The cladding around the fuel, the primary coolant system that circulates the cooling water through the reactor core, and then the overall containment. So we don't have any boilers or anything of that nature to, 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 that we've got to put coal in or natural gas to burn or anything like that. All that goes on in the reactor producing heat by nuclear fission. Inside this, uh, this road you have uh, uranium pellets. With this uranium pellets we will add the fission reaction on the production of electricity and we put all the assemblies inside the reactors. On inner reactors you have 200 assemblies like that to produce electricity for everybody. Behind me down in this pit is the Unit 2 reactor vessel. Ultimately, the reactor core sits down in here, produces all the heat that basically makes all the steam that uh, makes all the power. This is our reactor head. Here's the underside of the head. If you can see up there, the upper edge. If you look up underneath here, then you'll be able to see where the drive rods for the control rod drives themselves are actually aligned and then go up into some funnels and up into the rod drive mechanisms themselves seeing this head, actually being able to look down into the vessel, being inside this containment. Only the workers that need to go to do the maintenance that we have to do uh, for an operating cycle actually uh, get this closer. A nuclear power plant is really nothing but a fancy way to create steam. In many ways, with the exception of the reactor itself, we're exactly the same as any other type of power plant. We're using some kind of force to turn a turbine, that turbine turns a generator which produces power. The steam is going through the turbines right now, turning the turbine blades which turn a shaft and turn this generator here. The generator is making about 880 megawatts of electricity. That's enough power for over 800,000 homes. Once that steam leaves the turbine, it's brought into a condenser. You take steam and you condense it back to water and so we can bring it back over and start this whole process again. The water is kept under pressure and prevented from boiling, circulated through the reactor and through steam generators that actually heat the water then becomes steam to make power with. To walk into here and all of a sudden say, hey, I know something about nuclear. I know how things, how atoms split and how to make things work and what the reactor operators need to do to keep this plant running. It's a pretty profound thing.